Hello and welcome to Good News Club. Over the last few weeks we've been learning about Samuel and about King Saul. You remember that God's people really wanted to have a king. That was wrong. They should have been happy with God as their king. But they kept complaining until eventually God said, OK, you can have a king. And he gave them Saul. Unfortunately, Saul often didn't listen to what God wanted. He went off and did what he wanted to do instead. It seemed like he never really understood what it meant to follow God's law. Well, over the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at Matthew's Gospel and learning what Jesus had to say about following God's law. We're going to start with Matthew chapter 5, and Rachel's going to read that to us now. Now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Did you catch what was happening? Jesus went up a mountain and sat down to teach his disciples, his followers. It might not have been a very big mountain, Perhaps it was just somewhere to get a bit of peace and quiet. Did you hear the first thing that Jesus said? It was, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. What does that mean? First of all, poor in spirit. Well, poor is the opposite of rich. If you're poor, you don't have much or anything at all. By poor in spirit, Jesus seems to mean people who know they don't have anything to offer. They're not proud. They don't think they deserve the good things that God has to offer. So what does Jesus say will happen to these people? He says they are blessed and theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's pretty amazing. To be in the kingdom of heaven means being part of God's family, being loved by him and getting to be with him forever. So the people who know they have nothing end up with everything. A little bit later, we get a good example of what this looks like. It happened after Jesus had finished teaching and was coming down from the mountain. Matthew writes about it in chapter 8 and Rachel will read it for us now. When Jesus came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. Immediately he was cleansed of his leprosy. Then Jesus said to him, See that you don't tell anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. So we see this poor man with leprosy, which is a really nasty illness that makes the skin go very bad. It was a picture. This poor man went to Jesus and asked Jesus to make him better. He didn't say he deserved to be better. He didn't have anything he could give Jesus. All he could do was ask. And Jesus said yes and made him better straight away. Here's a picture of him looking much happier. We need to be like that man. We don't go to Jesus saying, look at me, aren't I good? Or haven't I done well? We just go to Jesus and ask for help, knowing that he will help. The activity this week is making a box. I've had a go, I'm sure you can do much better. On the side of the box it says, open the box to see what we can give Jesus to rescue us. When we open the box, it's empty. That's what we need to remember. To have nothing, to be poor in spirit, is what Jesus wants us to be. C. 
Aktionszünder.